Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my HTC One M9, the T-Mobile variant that got the Android 6.0 Marshmallow update over the air. It did take a while to update, so if you're going to update it over the air, it's going to take a bit of time. Anyways, we're going to go to software information. Up at the top, you'll see Android version 6.0. Sense version still sta stayed at 7, so that did not get updated with Marshmallow. Let's talk about what's new with this update. So first of all, when you use the volume rockers, you have Do Not Disturb mode. So you have Priority and just do not disturb mode being on and you can check whether alarms are played or not now you can get to uh this mode when you actually go all the way down with the volume key and then you'll see a little drop down right here as well which gets you to media and alarm volumes jumping back you'll see priority you can set a specific amount of time whether it's one two hours until you turn it off and when you go on you can like i said uncheck if you want it to play alarms or not as well Something else that's a little bit different is when you press volume down and power button at the same time, it's going to take a screenshot like before. However, that screenshot can be deleted straight from the notification tray. So you just press the delete button and it is no longer there. Now, let's go into Google Keep where I typed out a quick message and something that got updated was text selection. So if you go ahead and select on a full word, you'll see that cut, copy, share got brought up right above, directly above that text. If you press that dot, 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 you'll see you can select all as well. Now, when you are actually selecting the text um, and you go over to the right, let's go ahead and go back, and you go over to the right, it's going to select full words, and then when you go back to the left, it's gonna go letter by letter. So subscribe is gonna be the full word, boom, and then going back is letter by letter. So a nice addition to uh, text selection. Something I'm not positive if it's new or not, you're gonna have to let me know, is when you go into settings and go into display and gestures, there's a color temperature setting where you can change it from cooler to warmer, letting you know there's a white screen and your background as well, so you can change that. Let's go ahead and go home and let's just go into Relay for Reddit. And now here's a new feature called Google Now on Tap. I have a full video reviewing it, I'll link to it in the description, but you press and hold the home button and it's going to analyze what is on the display and give you some contextual results. So Super Mario Brothers was mentioned, let's see on that screen. It says, I thought I was good at Super Mario. And you'll see it brings up Super Mario, it says it's a video game, you can Google search it, go to the YouTube, images, websites, there's a lot more integration with this. Like I said, check out my full review if you wanna see more. Jumping into the app drawer, you'll see up at the upper left hand corner is that Android Pay app, better integration with Marshmallow. So if you have an M9, definitely try out Android Pay. Jumping back into settings, we are going to go to apps and then go ahead and go to configure apps because there's app permissions and they're granular app permissions. So specifically asking if you want to allow the app to use this thing. So we go to microphone. Let's see what apps are allowed to use the microphone. Okay, why is, let's say, for example, uh, Peel Smart Remote. That does not need my microphone, so I'm just going to uncheck it, and there, it cannot access my microphone anymore. And you can do that with a bunch of various settings, as you can see. Now, back into settings, there's a specific memory option to let you know your average memory use over a certain period of time. And also, you can go into each app and see how much RAM is used by each specific one. Going into sound and notifications, scrolling all the way down to app notifications, you can determine which specific apps are allowed to use peaking. So let's say if I go into Facebook, I can block all, treat as priority, or allow peaking. So let's say I get a notification from Facebook, it's gonna drop down a little, uh, a little display that shows you what that specific notification is, and then it's going to hide for a little bit. So let's go ahead and go back, that's another nice addition. And then scrolling down to power, and here is where something got updated. One thing being doze mode with Marshmallow. So what's gonna happen is when you have your phone just kind of sitting there, not using over, maybe if you fall asleep and accidentally forget to plug it in, it's going to not use nearly as much battery. And then of course there's battery optimizations right here. You'll see it's not optimized. You're gonna wanna play around with this yourself. Um, if we go to all apps and you can do specific ones, uh, you wanna be careful with this. Maybe you wanna, tr alarms might not go off, for example, if you're optimizing it for better battery life. So you might wanna go into maybe clock and not optimize it, but definitely play around with it for specific apps that you don't use very much. And this drop down is actually going to be where you can just reset it if you mess around with it. When it comes down to it, the camera actually didn't really get updated. Unfortunately, let's go ahead and snap a quick picture and then go into that picture. Something that actually was not added is called direct share. So when I press the share button, uh, direct share would maybe have given me a contact in the messaging thread or a contact from my Facebook up above it. And you can do a direct share to that person. Instead, you have to go into the specific app and type 
who you would like to send it to. But overall, that would be Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your HTC One M9. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots more to come as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links are in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh,